Hey folks, this is Tim with Sexton Lawn and Landscape. Just going to talk a little bit about pruning today. Uh, we're here in, in late January. It's kind of a warm day for, for the weather that we've been having. Um, but it, uh, it's, it's a, about the right time to really start doing some rejuvenation pruning on some, some plants. You might call it renewal pruning. Um, what we're looking at right here is a, is a hedgerow of Lorpedalum. Uh, there's a wooden fence behind them and what we what we're going to do over the course of the next um, visit here is, is get these lower pedalums trimmed up so that we can get them back where they'll be about the height of the fence um, there's a couple of ways to go about doing it and there's some right ways some wrong ways some more time efficient time efficient ways and just wanted to kind of cover those with you real quick. I've already done some some trimming on a couple of these different um, plants here just to show you the differences and what's right and what's wrong and the best way to go about doing this. Um, these are, like I said, are, are Laura Petalum and, oh, sorry about that, and on this particular one right here, this is what I've trimmed off of it, right? And so I used this set of hedge trimmers here, uh, which, you know, is, is a really useful tool can save a lot of time when you're shaping and trimming hedges, but when it comes down to trimming plants like this, it's really not the best tool to use. If we get down real close, you can see the kind of scarring that it does. Well, that's a little bit out of focus there, but you can see the kind of scarring that it does and it kind of breaks the, the stem up and can put some tears and just kind of chews through the plant. It's just not made for trimming really thick, heavy, woody stuff. Um, we just aren't getting the, the kind of result we want out of it. So uh, I have another one a little bit further down where I use some loppers and it just did, had a better, better effect. Uh, one other thing to take note is the height that I trimmed this one compared to that one there and then the other one on the other side of it. So you always have to account for if you have a, a target height for the plant, uh, you have to account for the, the recovery portion of it where it, it's going to grow back up and get to the height that you want it to be. So if we want it to be the height of the fence, we don't cut it at the height of the fence because it's, it needs to be able to recover and fill back out. And in order to do that, it's got to have some, some growth on it. So it's gonna have to add somewhere between six inches and a foot of height in order to get the kind of veg, uh, foliage on it needed to, to make it look filled out. And so uh, if we walk a little bit further down, uh, on some of these that have not yet been pruned you can see there's about you know six to to 12 inches that's all dense foliage if we get underneath that there's nothing and so uh anyway we want to be able to cut them back to a point where they can recover and uh and have a lot of foliage on them so anyway that's the reason that i cut this one um, to the height that it is and then this one just to show you what the difference would be um, You know, it's there's more plant there But by the time it recovers and gets some foliage on it This thing is, is going to end up being you know this high and so that's what we're trying to avoid So I use the head trimmers on that one too and you can again if you look at the uh, Ends of the stems where they were cut. They're really just kind of chewed up so as a comparison, I used my loppers on this one. It actually took less time and uh, all of the cuts are really clean and smooth and uh, they'll heal over a whole lot faster. So, and it's just a, just a faster way to do it. I, I cut this plant in about 30 seconds and it took me probably somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, a minute and a half or two minutes to cut that one. So it's just a, <clears throat> sometimes using a more, uh, manual tool can be a benefit so we'll try and um, provide some more uh, videos like this to kind of go over the right and wrong way to to do things or or good better best options so uh anyway if uh, you guys have any questions you can reach us at uh, www.sextonlandscapes.com or uh on, on uh, facebook and twitter or give us a call at 251-626-3309